Welcome, everybody, to RimWorld. Today, I am recording, like, hours and hours later than I normally would, because I've been doing some RimWorld science behind the scenes. So, I started a whole new campaign. In fact, I think it's probably still on my... Yeah, still on my load game here. I, was, I started multiple different saves to test out the... Uh, the, the, the cyber or projects. So obviously yesterday at the end of it, we completed two of the biggest tech on the tech tree back to back. So I said I would go off and spreadsheet the best cybernetics combination possible for the best warrior possible. Turns out that was a lot easier said than done because mathematically it's, it's one thing, but actually getting it to work in game, as we've seen, can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Like for example, trying to install his eye is a pain in the ass because he's technically missing an eye so we can't install the new one anyway. It's a complete mess. So I actually started a whole new campaign specifically so I can make sure that it worked. And the final product is, uh, I'm going I'm to put up on screen now, the final product of everything in combination. What, what I found to be the best combination of equipment, minus the love enhancer, I'll be honest with you. Or to 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 make basically the greatest warrior we possibly could. Now that person in the screenshot is also wearing legendary cataphract armor, which I'm certainly not going to bank on getting for this campaign because that would be almost impossible. They have a crazy lineup. What that screenshot is supposed to show is is basically like a shopping list almost of things that we have to order up. But suffice to say, it was ridiculous. It's very 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 expensive. But we ended up with with maybe the most powerful Rimworld character we're ever gonna see because I've like I said we've never really got this far through the Cybernetic mod before certainly not to the right to the end of the research tree with it so I think that's everything um, the only exception to that is the Pain Stopper so the Pain Stopper I completely forgot that you don't make up the fabrication bench you make up machining table I don't believe we've unlocked the research for that uh, we haven't what the hell am I missing to Get a pain stopper. Bra brain wire? Is that it? Oh, brain wiring. Oh, my God. So, brain implants assembly we can get. We still need more tech prints before we can actually do this. So, basically, I'll plan it all out. I've, I've put it all up on Discord for those of you who want to know the specifics of it. Um, the actual numbers behind it all are, are available over there. Um, and then I've still got that save available. So, if anybody wants a real deep dive into that, I can share, them, share that as well. Um, okay, so... We need to, if we haven't already got one lined up, because I don't remember where we left off. Oh, there's a combat supplier. I don't know if we've already traded with you as well. Um, yep, looks as if we have, given the amount of crappy axes and things that they've got. Yeah, I'm almost certain I dumped that on these guys, didn't I? Uh, so, one thing we'll need to do then, I don't know if we've done this already, is call the Empire Sphere and call in another exotic goods trader. And basically, we want to do this as much as possible, just to ensure that we could try and get those tech prints before the series ends, because it was really sucked me spending, oh, the best part, like two or three hours, making sure that I've got the best. And yes, I did use Dev Motor Spawner all in, but I tried lots of different permutations, basically, and lots of different warriors, and had them fight to death to see who would be best. So I think that final one is, is definitely... But if anyone's got any other suggestions, but I did also forget Pain Stoppers in my original plan. There's probably some research that I didn't get on the research trail, something like that. Uh, but given a bit more time, we could probably perfect it. So if anyone has any suggestions, hit me up on Discord, and uh, we'll make sure that Sharamus becomes the ultimate warrior possible. But all the information is over there if you're curious. So what have we got already then? Um, so the stone skin gland from my testing is definitely the best one. Uh, that out of the stone skin gland, the armor skin gland, and the other one, which I don't remember, is definitely the most powerful one available. But a lot of these other things that we've installed already are not. So, for example, the legs was something I noticed. It was better to install a leg implant rather than a place replacement like the bionic leg, and also a foot replacement as well to work in tandem. Like, for example, in the, in the screenshot that I had up, it's better to have two different types of eye. One eye gives uh, 115 effectiveness, but 15% flat sight bonus. So that would apply to both eyes anyway. And then the other one gave, like, aim, aiming time or uh, melee cooldown or something like that. So a combination of uh, implants is sometimes all, also the best thing to do because they just give a flat bonus rather than just a per body part bonus. Either way... I'm going to start planning this out, and we're going to see how many resources we're actually going to need for the Cyber Shari Must project. There are other c couple of things to mention as well. Things, for example, the combat AI, in theory, because you can have multiple brain implants, so the combat AI and the Pain Stopper should be able to work side by side. But when I installed the Pain Stopper and reloaded the game, it automatically deleted the combat AI. I am still going to try and craft it, because both would be incredible. Um, but don't... And, and same thing, actually, with the Berserk chip as well. I was thinking there was something else that was missing there. Bear in mind, we're growing the psycho leaves kind of specifically for that. Um, so all three of those, in theory, should work together. But, uh, oh, sorry, the, the combat AI uh, berserk chip and the pain stopper should work together. Um, 
but apparently not. Apparently a reload might affect it. So what we'll do is we'll install absolutely everything, then I'll reload, and then we'll see what we're actually missing out. And then I know for future reference, you know, not to build any of the other things. But those are our two separate eyes. Like I said, one actually gives a flat sight bonus. Uh, one gives some other bonus. I don't remember what it is now. We need two sensoric ear sights. So those are upgraded to the flashes that we had. I compared every single component, obviously, with uh, with everything else there. I installed the, the other person I love enhancer, which, again, I don't think is kind of necessary. Um, right, so we don't have any of the royalty stuff. So we don't have the healing enhancer. We don't have the coagulator. Do we have the exoskeleton armor? We don't have... Uh, yeah, we do have the exoskeleton armor. Okay, that's good. Um, what else is there? Stone skin gland. He's already got a stone skin gland, as I recall. What I was going to do is just load it all up and then remove what he's already got. Yeah, we've already got one of those. I think we bought one of those from a trade ship a long time ago. Okay, there we go. Um, then power arms ended up being the best thing. So these power arms are obviously horribly expensive. 250 gold, 100 plastic. And then that's going to be 12 components for the set. I did compare a lot of different things, like arm implants plus, say, wrist weaponry, um, the power arms versus bionic arms versus specialized weapon arms. There are arms that give uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. These ones give 125% blunt damage each, so actually the Warhammer, I should have thought about that. A Zeus, a linked Warhammer, might be affected by that, which if it is, that's going to be massive. We're looking at, like, two and a half times damage bonus out of that. Assuming both arms apply to the weapon. That might be worth checking out. I was just going for the monosaur because we already have one. But I will check out the hammer. I assumed it would just affect the fist. Because obviously these are intended as a weapon. But if it does give a flat 125%. Just as it gives a flat carrying capacity. Obviously that doesn't affect the arms. So maybe that will affect the base character as well. That would be insane if it does. A Zeus hammer hitting like over twice as hard would be absolutely fucking nuts. Anyway, I'll get the rest of this. Uh, I'll get the rest of this thrown together and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so I think that's everything that we can get right now. So we are missing, again, we're missing coagulator, healing enhancers, the immuno enhancers, I believe, we're also missing as well. Uh, and I know a couple of these we can also remove. So that's going to be the entire bill. I should really add up what exactly we'll need to get. Look, so some of them require hyperweave. So it turns out the spiders, all that effort we put in, all those many episodes ago, have actually come full circle and going to allow us to finish our cyber Orc project. Let's go back to Sharamus here. What have you already got? that we need so flashlights are being replaced we can always give those to other people so that's no loss same with the eye as far as i'm concerned S stone skin gland is great energy link he's already got and he's already got one immuno enhancer so i can remove the immuno enhancer the energy link and the stone skin gland of which we can't craft anyway because of course we don't have royalty these two can go everything else needs replacing so all of these things are going to be available for our other people which is absolutely fine by me um so immuno enhancer and energy link uh, goodbye, and then... Oh, and Muno Hunts we can't craft anyway, can we? Right, so that's royalty. Cool. So that's everything lined up. And the other thing I want to check, then, is the Warhammer. The Zeus Warhammer, which I think is another thing that we haven't yet got the tech imprint for. If I type in Link Zeus... Cancer's Fabrication? Zeus? Uh, I'm not sure that's true, Chief. Uh, okay, let's try it. Let's try this Zeus. Ah, there it is. Ultra Tech Weapons. Oh, hang on a minute. Ultra Tech weapons, what we got last time. Oh, fantastic. We didn't we didn't obviously finish the research on it, but that is incredible because that is the um that those are what we got the tech prints for yesterday from a passing trader. Okay, cool. So today might be very much the final countdown to having our Cyber Orc complete. The question is, can we afford it? Uh speaking of can we afford it, we can't even afford our bloody outstanding bills, let alone. Maybe I should turn off one of these off of Tithe, because we really just cannot simply afford it. Um, well, Lobo. Especially if I'm calling in exo exotic good traders all the time as well, it actually might be more beneficial to... It actually might be more beneficial to not Tithe them at all, and constantly trade with with traders instead. Um, either way, we'll, we'll keep an eye on how that's going for the time being. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this plays out. I guess, I guess we'll give him a little bit of chance to finish off this. Is there any other endgame research you want to get? Obviously, Cat's Fright Armor would be a necessary, very necessary evil. Um, shield Belt. Oh, also, with all of these upgrades, the Cataphract Armor, so the base move speed of your pawn is, what, like 4.6, something like that? Let me just take a look here and double check. So he's got 4.83 because he's a teenager, he moves slightly faster or some crap, I don't know. Um, oh, because he's wearing shoes, sorry, my bad. Anyway, around 4.8, eight to four point four point five point three i think if you have the jogger trait or something like that anyway with cataphract's armor on my test character was moving at 9.6 cells per per tick i think it's measured in so essentially double the regular speed of an unarmored person this is a dude wearing a tank on his body 
So this is going to be, this is going to scare the shit out of the Empire, I hope. Oh, damn it. Well, look, uh, the only, I, I also, after watching yesterday back after editing, and realized that the only time we had a raid or anything like that was the, was the animals fighting back, run, Sharmus 2. So turn off, people have been saying turn off run and gun because running and gunning apparently slows them down. Uh, although it looks as if he might have had his, oh, his legs been bruised. Come on, get out of there. Um... Hmm. <laughs> People have been asking for some more war crimes. You want to see some fucking war crimes? I'll show you war crimes right here. Everybody draft up. Let's get in here. Let's get ready to go. In fact, why don't we just start running over and saving my guy? Because he's not going to survive. He's not going to survive unless we get out there and, and help him out. Run, little Sharamus. Ah. Uh, wow. Just straight up kill him. Holy shit. Um... Wow, that was unexpected. Wait. What? Oh. Whoa. Hang on. You see that? So it also has 50 hit points. The Elephant Tusk Scratch did 19.4 damage. Two thirds of his life was sapped away. Bear in mind, if you toss against Desiree, you're obviously dead as dicks. Two thirds of his life. Wait. Don't, don't check the maths on that. Two, two fifths. That's what I meant to say. Two fifths of his life. Sapped away from one elephant tusk. Holy shit. Um, oh, well, we can resurrect him, I guess. Just as I... I actually j literally right this second designated the coffins to be taken apart. So that we could use the silver with the trader that's coming. Um, I might have to say... Oh, was that... That was limestone. Sorry, my bad. I was going to say no more silver for that then in that case. Um, huh. I guess we need another resurrector now. Goodbye, Sharamus 2. We'll name Sharamus 1, Sharamus 3 in honor of Sharamus 2. Unbelievable. Well, I guess defensive positions for everyone else then. Fucking elephants, seriously? Of all the things I was expecting, that was not it. I'm going to get droid 1 here just to try and bait them over a little bit more. Um, I didn't notice the last time. It, I, I don't know if we were too far away or whether they determined it was too much effort to get over to us. But I want to leave someone out as bait to actually get them over here. On the plus side, his sacrifice will not go unrewarded because that's going to be a hell of a lot of meat we're getting sent our way. Okay. All ass. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Okay. Okay, good work. Good work, Droid Zero. Get through those auto doors. There's no way in hell the elephants can catch us through that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good shit, good shit, good shit. Right. I need to work on these, um... I need to work on these defensive positions somewhat. Huh? That's not looking too promising. Is everyone in their defensive positions? The hell is even that? Okay, right. Let's do some... Let's do some shifting around here, because that's, that's honestly hideous. Also, I'm not looking forward to when... When these guys get shot, that's going to be a complete mess. What might be a good idea is let's have Edward Crosby and Pork up there. Because their weapons are... Maybe not right now. In hindsight, that was a bad idea. But their weapons are a bit more suited to the to the sort of directed... They're, they're obviously very inaccurate. Pork fires very fast. Doesn't do a lot of damage. So if we're firing it into a big group of people, he's obviously got a better chance of hitting with that. Right, you move up there. Um, Pierre can't hit. Maybe Pierre... He, okay, so Pierre really needs to stand at the top because he's using a chain shotgun. So as they're crossing through over here, he's going to have a much better chance of uh, doing some damage. Oh my god, look at that. Charge minigun's quite impressive. See, look, they're turning around again. This is why I had the android out there as bait. For whatever reason, they, they don't want to pursue us through the kill box much. I don't know why. Um, let's come over here, see if that's close enough to wake him up. Nope, even that's not enough. I wonder if they just won't move too far away from their original point. Well, there. Is that close enough? There we are, there we are. Now back off. See if that'll wake him up. We've done a couple of damage points there. Maybe they're like mechanoids. I don't know. Maybe they... Ah, oh, all in bot. You madman. Okay. The other elephant's fucked off. We've only got one more to try and bait out now. Droids are get through here. That's a lot of meat. Elephants, they're completely made of tasty meat. So that's going to keep us fed for quite a long time. Especially when we've got those extravagant meals on the lineup. What is it doing? Wait, it's a man hunter and you're not a man. You're a droid. It won't fight back. Actually, what is it doing? Consuming dandelions. Help me all. Okay, I'm going to finish that thing off. Fuck it. Sharamus died for this. Sharamus II died for this. Let's make sure that uh, let's make sure that we're capitalizing on it. Run, little droid. Brilliant. That's fair hunting right there. That's absolutely fair hunting. Okay, well done, everyone. I'll go ahead and let's put the droid back in its previous position. Then we'll save that as the new defensive positions. There we go. Uh, save right there. I just want to spread it out a little bit. You never know when the Empire's going to turn up with artillery or rocket weaponry. Something like that to really fuck us up. Um, let's just get for the time being, then. Until I can... Actually, we, we could probably build another coffin immediately. I was going to say we'll just drag his corpse into here, to, into the freezer, at least. 
Right, let's get this done as soon as possible and get him home. I mean, this is really the price we pay for the manager. I, I think I'm going to turn it off. I know I threatened it yesterday after the... Uh, after the Rhino issue, but we'd have to manually go through I'm not forbidding these monsters. I just, I would just do it myself. I'll just do it myself. Thank you, manager. Appreciate the effort, but you have genuinely almost gotten multiple people of our killed, and now you've actually finally got Sharamus killed, so I'd rather not, rather not avoid any more incidents like that. But we can't craft anything else? What the hell are you talking about? We can't make advanced components. That's what we're lacking. Five components, 100 steel, 50 plus steel, 15 gold. Oh my god, it's the gold. As much as I hate to say it, I may have to dig up the golden bathroom. If oh, It's only going to be temporary. It's only going to be temporary until that we can put back. And, until we can obviously finish our main project here. Because right now the floor is unfinished anyway. I would rather have a fully golden room at some stage when we're less desperate for resources. Next time we find an underground gold deposit, I'll make sure it goes onto this room for those of you upset about me doing this. But this is a necessary evil, I'm afraid. I'm not going to take apart the golden toilet, don't worry. That will stay there. Honestly, I think it makes the golden toilet feel a lot more special. Knowing that it's the only golden thing in there besides the golden plumbing. But to be fair, that's quite literally an extent of the golden toilet. So, I think that's better. Honestly, I think it would give the room a lot more flair. Oh, there he goes. Thank you, Hallenbot. Much appreciated. Couldn't even be bothered to get one of the colonists to bury him. I see how it is. There we go. We'll bring him back. Again, we haven't got enough resources right now to even... Uh, I made sure Port woke up and did this as his first job there. Obviously, we haven't got enough resources to to make a resurrect max serum. So I can't I, I can't justify having this floor when our people are dying and I've got no way to stop it. Stop them dying there. It's obviously, I've got a way to stop them being mauled by elephants. That's by not having them haul elephants. Maul elephants, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, all right, let's get this place up a bit more. How long until our... We're we looking at here. So we got one day left on the upgrading. Okay, cool. And then we've got four days left if I want to settle anywhere else. I think we're good with our level of settle. I want to check how long we've got until. Ah, oh, tax day is 0.4 days. So that should arrive before that is not a goods trader. One other cool thing that I want to talk about briefly, just as kind of a message received. I have, in one of those saves where I was testing uh, Cyber Sharamus, I had a robot doctor and I thought I might as well test out the Android mod while I was there. The. Actual Android side of it. This is a droid fabricator, so make just basic droids, battle droids, as we've got with um, as we got with Droid Zero. The Androids are very, very cool. There's a full-blown custom uh, GUI for it, a custom interface for it, which allow you to pick whatever implants you want in them, whatever um, like Arco Tech editions. It's got a whole specialization thing, customizable backstory. You can't customize the skills. I should point that out. You kind of have to roll stats to. Not make it hyper OP, but one of the droids I designed genuinely required 80 advanced components, so it's horribly, horribly expensive. Bearing in mind we're currently playing a campaign where I'm having to rip up the floor to be able to build some more bionics, I don't think we're in a place where the Android mod is good for us. But if we ever play any of the series with the infinite um, resource generators, so the quarry, the deep drills, whatever else, then I will definitely add in the Android mod so that we can test that out. But to be honest, I'm kind of enjoying a bit more of the base game balance. We will go for one of those crazy nuts series again, um, eventually, where we're just swimming in resources, enemies are turning up with centipedes hacked and all other weird shit that we've had in the past. That'd be quite fun. But for the time being, this is, this is a nice calm level where I think a lot of people who really aren't into modding too much can still kind of understand what's going on. Speaking of which, what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, Tar Guzzler. Okay. Uh, what do you do? This menacing looking beast might seem a truly alien creature, but in reality it was artificially created as a living waste disposal. Oh. Creeps along the parched mud searching for its favorite food puddles of tar. Uh, they don't have any natural predators. What are they? What do they do? They eat tar. Cool. What does that mean? What do they do for us? We've got a, uh, a trader turn up. That's why they're, that's why they're here. Of all the animals to try and sell to people, you pick the slowest moving ones. Brilliant. Uh, a shaman merchant, I think they were? We'll trade with them anyway, see what they've got. But obviously, uh, we haven't really got much to trade right now, unfortunately. No, 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 they might have some gold. Actually, have you got any gold? Let's have a look. Delta, get in there. How are we doing with the advanced components as well? Still a long way away. I should really drop those right to the bottom of the list. So that if they can make some of the more... Some of the bionics, we should get that done first. Then we should make some more components. That way, we're always... We can always have Rose operating on Sharamus if it's if it's available. Right, welcome, welcome. Speaking of which, have we actually crafted anything yet? Uh, energetic in the energetic lung. Well, there we go. Energy core. Cool. Okay, so they have Tar Guzzler. Um, to be honest, that's basically it. Okay. Uh, 
Got some medicine there that I'm not really... Oh, they've got... Oh, they've got Plasteel. Wow. Okay, very strange. They've got, obviously, the, the psychic stuff there. Um... Fortunately, that's completely it. Right, waste of time. Well, they've got gold. They've actually got gold. Wow. There's me saying that as just a, just a kind of wild hope, and they actually did deliver on it. Thank you. I mean, it's barely anything, but it is it is at least something. Oh, shit. Did not have enough silver to pay an outstanding bill. They've confiscated your tithes in return. I kind of expected them to do that. Unrest has increased by 10%. Okay. What does not make any sense? Surely they should send us the profits then. They've just taken everything. So, hang on. They didn't have to send us any money, and they didn't have to send us any resources, and that made them unhappy? <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that one, Chief, but okay. Fine. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that at all. Okay. Um, right, let's get, let's get, okay, so we're losing, losing profit on that one, unfortunately, but that's alright, right. Get, get it, get it over here. So, I guess that's to make up for if things like this happen where you're not telling them, but they are in debt. The unhappiness would come from the fact that obviously they're not being paid and they're also not making any profits to feed themselves. Perhaps. I have no idea. Um, so unrest is 7.5. Am I going to have to build buildings there now specifically to lower their unrest? That would suck. Uh, that would be a shame. And there's still only 8 happiness for fuck's sake. That's my bad. Those, those are 7.5. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it. You know what? It would genuinely be cheaper at some, to be honest to... No, obviously it wouldn't be cheaper to start a new settlement, but... I'm sure we can find some way around that. So we don't need the energetic kidneys. What do the energetic kidneys do again? Blood filtration, immunity gains with yes. Well, I've got Muno Enhancer on my list. So energetic kidneys can go to Delta. I think any other spare research that we're not using, give to Delta. So, oh sorry, any spare components that we're not using. Install kidney lung. What the hell is a kidney lung? Oh, that is an energetic kidney. How strange. Okay. Um, so she can have that. She's not missing anything. Uh, energetic core, right, so, so, Sharamus doesn't need that, he's using a lion heart, which gives melee damage or something like that, energetic lung, we've already got installed into Sharamus, with the, with the menu somewhat, it does take a little while for it to update, I've noticed, unless we, they've crafted another one, but I don't believe they have, aesthetics shaper in the torso, she's got a blaster in her torso, I don't know if that'll fix things, I mean, the, you'd assume by the red cross it would, but I don't think it will, um, Besides that, I really can't help you with much. Ah, oh, there we are. Exhausted goods trade to turn up just alongside our taxes as well, as far as I know. Um, yeah, 0 0.2 days, 0 0.2 days, 0 0.1 days. We might actually genuinely miss some of the taxes here to trade with them, but we'll see what they've got first. Um, I would say Delta go and trade with them. Unfortunately, Delta is currently being operated on. Please stand by. And the energy core is really good. 20 max hit points. Uh, I was assuming that would apply only to the heart, but no, it doesn't, because clearly the heart's still only got 15 hit points. So I guess that applies just based to Delta there. She's got the aesthetic shaper, gives a plus one beauty, but doesn't obviously solve the issue with the with the torso. And there's nothing else I can give you as far as I can see here. The second Delta up, we'll trade with that trade caravan whenever they get here. Taking a long, long time. Oh, there we are, some more taxes too. Or 300 of them, that'll help. So bear in mind, I'd like to keep roughly 2,600 actual physical silver around to be able to pay these debts off. We can't really afford our quarries to get any unhappier. I have neglected that the entire game. We are starting to pay the price now. Um, so whenever Delta's up, we'll try and trade whatever we can. How much silver are we looking at having? When these bloody hauling bots get off their arse and start hauling it. We're going to have like short, just short of 10,000 silver. That's okay. We'll have to try and make sure we kind of keep, unless it's super, super desperate. Unless it's one of the tech points we desperately need, like Cataphrite's armor or the uh, Royalty Bionics Pain Stoppers, that type of thing. Then it might be necessary to spend the excess. But if we can keep around 3,000 gold left in the treasury, that would be ideal. Silver. I keep calling it gold because it's currency, but actually it's it's silver. That's confusing. Delta's back up. Right, go on then. Let's take a look. Um, Douglas, show me what you've got, friend. Or alternatively, if they've got any Bionics directly, would save us a lot of time and effort. Oh. Because she's still under the anesthetic. She's only got, a t oh, only a 12% bonus. Um, is there any way we see the, the breakdown of that? I swear we, we used to be able to see the It doesn't matter. Right. Oh, wait. If you hover over the price, right? Yeah, there we are. Um, okay, okay, okay. So they do have advanced components. Um, they've got subpersona cores, which are nice. Please, come on. Oh, muscle wire. We do genuinely need muscle wire. Learning assistants aren't bad either. Those just give a flat 20% global learning factor. They've got no tech prints. So I'm more than happy to buy these two. Mind Twist give no psychic sensitivity. Now, bear in mind, we are going to be fighting the Empire. And the Empire do have psychers because one of the mods we've got enabled allow the Empire to send in people with psychic abilities. So 
uh, to use against us in combat. So it would be a good idea that if we want our Cyber Orc to be the most effective possible, we would buy that. However, in my testing, when I reloaded, again, the brain defaulted to having only one thing available. So that was not possible. Uh, but to be honest, even if we bought everything of theirs we wanted here, I'm going to buy the Tech Prof sub Persona Core just to save us a shitload of time. Um, even buying absolutely everything I could possibly want. So buying all the Plasteel, all the Glitter World Medicine... I buy the components of Arctic components. We're still going to have like 1,600 left over. Is there anything I could sell them to kind of even out a little bit? Because we can not buy the Plasteel, but we're running very, very low on that. We've got a lot of stuff to craft. Uh, you guys want to buy some crusty Peanuts? <laughs> Although in hindsight, it's just occurred to me what the YouTube algorithm might think I'm saying when I say that out loud. Um, what else can I offer you? Gold? Do you need... No, obviously you want to keep it gold. Here, take, take the sculpture. Um, what can I offer you, gentlemen? Tetragenic originates. We're a bit past that stage now. I might genuinely sell them all. What do they do for us? They make body parts and split in half. We don't need the body parts. We're, we're long past the body parts. And we've got plenty in our stockpile just in case of emergencies. I'm going to sell the lot. Think of the, It'll also help out with the game lag, which I'm very concerned about because it has been crashing a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. There we are. That also gives us a 3,000 gold buffer that we need to pay off the other debts. I think that's a great trade. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, there we go. So we've got the muscle wire. So the muscle wire is a leg implant, not a replacement. That also allows us to add onto his feet the uh, elastic Achilles, which we need the hyperweave for. So whenever the spiders actually get to doing the damn thing that we pay him for. Uh, learning a system. We've got, yeah, okay. So we've got a lot of good implants there. So hopefully my damn, <laughs> my hauling bots will come and deal with that in a second. Then we'll get them all installed. Sharamus, what's he got going on right now? Anything? So has he got any, his no foot implants at all. However... I think by installing the muscle wire, it will replace his bionic leg. However, like I said, the, the muscle wire in combination with the foot implant is better than a bionic leg. Now, the only caveat to that, I should have mentioned as well. The only caveat to my entire list is that there are no Arcotech limbs. Those would be better in theory, but obviously we can't rely on that because there's no way to guarantee that you just have to get it randomly from trade chips and exotic goods traders. So, bear in mind we've seen none the entire campaign as far as I recall. I'm not going to rely on that at all. Otherwise, we would genuinely be sitting here for till next year with this series. Um, so, muscle wire. Let's go, we could go and install it right now and then we could give someone else a bonnet. Like, so, the question is, would we prefer the mind twist or the learning assistant? I think the mind twist. For a warrior to be completely immune to psychic abilities would be a lot more effective than him learning faster. What's his melee skill? 14.49, but he's got a double passion in it. Man, I wish we had like a training... Training dummy. Like a punch bag or something that he could learn... <laughs> that he could learn to, to to punch and gain melee skill. This is where we need that. There's a great mod for that, miscellaneous training mod. Um, basically, it allows you to gain recreation muscles, like shooting range, for example. Teaches them a valuable skill while also, obviously, giving them some recreation too. Oh, the compression drawer is done. done. Wow. Okay, so apparently something that I traded there came in handy. Oh my god, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> and this is on, friend of mine, this is also on Speed 4. You can kind of see why I'm, I'm interested in selling off some animals. One of the things I noticed from my testing as well is the hauling bots actually do add a lot of lag. Primarily if you only have single entrance areas. So where we've got all these single doors just held open, it is going to slow down the game massively. It actually might be more beneficial to remove, say, doors like this. Who cares if the workroom and stockpile count as separate rooms, especially when everything's on the shelves. Um, but replacing these with auto doors would be massively beneficial. Ah, what a kind gift to give us right at the end of things here. I haven't looked at this yet, so this could be... Oh, what the f... I've never seen a mechano cluster like that before. And the more I look, the worse it gets. Holy shit. So, what have we got there? We've got... Hang on. Uh, well, I wanted to double click and, and be able to see them all. Um, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 mech assemblers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4 mech capsules. And how many drop beacons have we got? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, my. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, that's fucking something. And to top it all off, we got a psychic suppressor. Wow. I've never seen a mech hive like that. Now, I should point out, I believe one of the recent updates affected how mech hives work. So there's more variation to it. And I imagine this is perhaps the new variation. Um, so just an overwhelming fucking vulgar display of power here from the mechanoids. Rather than their usual crappy base that's kind of half inconvenience and, and, and kind of a map hazard. This is not a map hazard. This is hell on earth. Wow. Um, so really we want to deal with this in two ways. We want to wake up the capsules. Try and bomb the capsules first with our artillery. See if we get 
one of these destroyed, the capsules will wake up, and obviously the mech assemblers aren't going to immediately start throwing things at us. Deal with the capsules first, maybe while the caravan's still here, and then after that, we gun down all of the assemblers as soon as possible. But we've got 35 shells, as I recall right now. 25. Um, everyone armor up. Everyone armor up. Sharamus is still... Oh, 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 is he finished his operation? What's going on there? Um, he's sedated, but he is going to get up soon. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, obviously he's going to come in very handy because he's immune to psychic. And the, the, the psychic suppressor is active. Go ahead and equip... Actually, it might not be active yet. How long we got? No, it is active. Okay, cool. And it also says over there, obviously, it's active. Right, hello, sir. Let's get you into defensive position, please, chief. And that's everybody armored up, yeah? Who's is that? Oh, Upsers. Oh, in that case, let's give Helotos this armor rack. I suppose he's got his psychic gear, though, hasn't he? Who's missing armor? Um, it's kind of hard to tell because they haven't finished equipping it yet. Well, let's give him a little bit more time to equip things, and then we'll see what damage we can do here. But I want to wake him up while we've got an exotic goods trader kicking around. These guys, look, it, it's only 11 people, but that is 11 more hands on deck. If things get really desperate, we could use our settlements to call in some reinforcements, too. Right, everybody is mostly armored up here. So went on circuits not to to get his gear. Who's that one? Charmus the second, who's also dead. Right, we do have some spare armor sets then. Pork, what the hell are you doing, my man? Uh, get 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 some armor. Has he got, has Pork never had armor? Up, sir. Charmus the second gets knocked out a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Well, let's give that to Pork. Let's give that one to. I'm thinking either Helatos or Fear. Fear's not wearing much. Rose isn't wearing much either. And I think Rose is more valuable. Let's give that to Rose. Um, so that's Ops's. Ops's obviously. Ops is gone. Ops, Ops is gone. Uh, not gone forever, but gone for the time being. So you go ahead and equip that. Um, equip from Armorak. Okay. And then uh, Pork obviously needs to go equip from Armorak too. So let's get you on that as soon as possible. You guys get into position. Um, what we need to do is get actually Watts and Delsa on the artillery. This is the first time we're going to see these things. Apparently artillery, someone said, uh, I, I saw a comment very briefly that said that apparently artillery is less useful than mortars on the map. But obviously artillery has the ability to target world tiles that give them more of a benefit. But we'll fight this mechanoid right now to make up for the fact that a lot of the start of the episode was just me chatting about bionics and crap from, from planning those out. Okay. Um, bear in mind, we've also got droids here with the self detonator. God knows what that would do, but we'll, um, we'll see if that has any sort of reasonable effect. All right, let's get you guys a little less closely packed up there. Okay, just went on pork. We'll bring him up here as well. Uh, what's it is on there. Delta's on there. Obviously, they'll need some space up here too, so we'll probably send those guys up here. Let's move fear across in case that catches fire and explodes. All right, then. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We do have the EMP shells as well, so if we're looking for an excuse to get these guys into... I, I kind of want to wait for them to leave. They should be leaving any second now. Um, oh, Sharmus is back up. Nice. You have no armor, do you? Do you have armor? You don't have any armor. Um, wait on pork. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get your armor, you weird man. <laughs> Did I move him away from his armor? Right, that's my bad. Oh, Halatos. Hiding in room. Well, that's not much of a loss, given that psychic powers aren't going to be massively beneficial. It's crappy psychic powers that you can't really use. Right, Sharamus, this is... Let's get him to equip this gear and then just keep it on as far as I'm concerned. Rose has given birth? That was not the time, Rose. What did she give birth to? Nothing. She gave birth to n nothing. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> what, what did you just say? Hang on. Messages. Show messages. Rose has given birth. Uh, what? To nothing. Okay, we might have a slight bug in that regard. Um. Rose has given birth. To nothing. What the fuck happened there then, I wonder? Alright, let's fire when ready. Let's wait these guys up, see what they can see what they can do. Let's try and hit um something that will kind of potentially set off a chain reaction. I'll go for here. That way we can at least hit maybe some of the other stuff around as well. I don't think they've got a mortar shield, have they? I didn't see anything. Uh not from the looks of it. Mech drop beacons. We got some aero fleets coming in there. That'd be nice if we could get those to blow up. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Let's see this artillery go then. What are we looking at? They're just going to be like mortars, surely. Uh, okay, there we go. Took a long time to fire. Boom. Very inaccurate. I love it. Okay. Shit. What have we hit there? Oh, fuck off. What have we hit there? Oh, they have got a mortar shield. Oh, right there. Bollocks. Okay. Um, 
I guess we'll deal with that first. Oh, good news. The taxes have arrived. For fuck's sake. <laughs> what are you... Hey, stop that. All my people have... No, no, no. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're leaving. No, 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 no. Leaving. No leaving. Wait, are they attacking? Following Muffalo. Following Douglas. Douglas is moving. Stop that. Now's a, now's a great time. Oh, 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 oh. Extract shell. Uh, swap over to EMPs. Very, very quickly swap over. Maybe we, with this, can hit something else to wake them up outside of the shield. Like, uh... There? Where's the shield expand to? Ah, oh, shit. We'd have to go for that one. We'll see if we can hit that one. On the plus side, I will admit, I am also trying to do a caravan heist here, too. Um, wasn't going to say anything, but I feel like it might be worth pointing out that I am also trying to, uh... You know, potentially get some free shit out of this. Please hurry. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to hurry up. Oh, I bounced off the shield again. Shield's down. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't plan it. Two seconds. Oh, they reload quite fast, though, don't they? That seems to be a benefit of it. Right, just get in there. Please wake them up. Let's put that somewhere a bit more sensible. Actually, let's shoot the Psychic Express first. What are you doing? Now that I know they've got more shield, it will, be, will make slightly more sense. There it goes. Boom. Mechanoids have woken up. Here they come. It looks as if we might just catch the end of the trade caravan if we're lucky. I think we're actually going to catch them. Fucking hell. That's an army. <laughs> oh, okay. They are going for the people. Okay, that's great news. Fantastic. Um, the old teratogenic originators are going to get absolutely annihilated here. We've woken them up. Should we keep firing until we've destroyed the psychic suppressor? I think that would make a lot of sense. But it's got a lot of fucking health. Let's see if our boys can hold off what we've got. Speaking of which, where are our boys? Defensive positions. Get over here. It's good job I noticed that before things got out of hand. Okay, we'll deal with the mechanoids coming in first. We'll admit the, um... The originators and the, the decoy is acting as a great decoy, funnily enough. It's going to give us time to hopefully get through there. How are we looking? Oh my god, they're getting annihilated. Our friends are getting annihilated, but they are dropping some nice things there for us too. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies coming through. I'm worried that these originators are going to keep the door open. Oh my god, and they've got scullywags which can burst doors open. What? What is that noise? Hang on. What is that? Oh! They've burst the door open there. Right, so what they'll do is they'll actually open those doors and set them to hold open. So we need to manually go over there and close it again. Basically. Um, that's not good. Please stop that. Why is it not closing? There we are. There we are. Okay. Um, Pierre. Kill him dead. Kill him dead, Pierre. Oh, please watch the search. Okay. Uh, go through. Go through. Shut that Shut that down. Oh, God. This could be really dangerous. I didn't consider the scullywags. What the hell is that thing? Internal charge blaster. I'm going to have to disagree there, Chief. Okay, how are we looking? Uh, Rose, come back. Come back. Get behind some cover. Is that door... No, not hold open. Okay, are we good? Hopefully that's all it takes. Oh, the game is not happy. Look at how slow it's going. Oh, shit. Now, here's what I'm concerned about. These things busting open this door here. That could give us a world of hurt. Jesus. Okay. Um, what else are we looking at? No centipedes, which is great news. This doesn't look as bad as I thought. There's a lot of scythers, but given that we've staggered them out the way we have, this might not be such a difficult raid. What's it's downed already? Oh my god, his brain got mangled. What? It hit him in the brain, but didn't do any bleed damage. Why is he down? Oh, because of the psychic suppression. Mangled charge. That's got to be an old one. That's got to be an old one, surely. The assaulter hit what's it with the charge blaster shot? I don't think it was. Uh, the assault that hit what's it with a charge blaster shot, and he's only been hit in the brain. Somehow he got hit in the brain without bleeding out. Internal charge is that what that means? Internal charge blaster doesn't mean that it's a charge blaster mounted internally on the mechanoid. It means it blasts them internally. Maybe bypasses the skin layer entirely and just rips through them. Visitors, you couldn't have picked a better time. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Um, for, for what's left of it anyway. Good God. If that's how that works, that's lethal. A oh, poor guy. Okay, where is everybody? Um, is that everybody on the front lines? You're shitting me. Okay, that's not out a lot. And Helotels are obviously off on an adventure somewhere. The Tetragenic Originator is dealt with one of the Scullywags. Well, that's great news. Okay. I think we're actually going to be fine here. There's a shielded Scullywag coming in. Doors right to a nice traction. Oh, God. It's going to burst that one open. Okay, well, luckily we haven't got much else to fire at right now. Team... You might want to shoot those things. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that to... Well, unturn that from hold open. I'll run some, someone down there to shut that door. If pain can push past, push, push past. Push past the pain. There we are, there we are. That's what we're after. Please don't shoot pain. Okay, get through. Shut that door to stop the scythers. This is down to you, pain. 
Get through, get through. Why is he so fucking slow? Good God. What's wrong with him? Dazzled? Oh my God, the spotlights are working against us. The Psychic Express are, of course, also working against us here. Friendlies. <gasps> Friendlies are here. Oh, thank you. The grandmother of pain, Delta, and the mother in law. It's Ups' mother. She's come to back us up. Holy shit. What a story. Oh, that's not good. Droid Zero just blew the fuck up. I wish I'd have known that they blow up violently when they die. Well, that's fine. Um, okay. Pain is fist fighting a Scyther. That's never a good way to live. But if he, su if he survives and is able to push through, we can get that door shut and he might have saved everybody. He might accidentally be a hero. Oh, he's not a hero. He's a failure. <laughs> <laughs> Pain, you shit. Okay, good luck, Pierre. How many more mechanoids have we got to deal with urgently? Oh, God, we need to shut that door. They've just got a clear shot on us. Um, I'm thinking we back off Rose and Pierre behind the top embrasures now. Because as they st if they stand where they are for much longer, they are just going to get annihilated. The friendlies are here. Holy shit, the friendlies are here in force. Oh, very nice. Okay. What a random, random complete convergence there. Holy shit, please don't like... That was unnecessary. Okay. I mean, it's not our people, so I'm not too bothered. How's Watts it doing? Pain's putting out in eight hours, but Watts is just lying there having the time of his life. Slightly different, I will admit. Slightly, slightly massively brain damaged, but he's having the time of his life like that. I can't believe we survived this. Good God. Thank God those friendlies turned up when they did. We'd have been fine either way. Don't get me wrong. They had to kill a couple of Scythers and a Scullywag. We'd have been okay with the people that we've got. Um... Yeah, man, that's crazy. Especially because the only thing that's left it, other than that is obviously Pipeman, which wouldn't have taken much to deal with. Good God. Stop getting into fistfights with melee characters. <laughs> Look at them. What the fuck are they doing? Okay. Um, well, that could have ended a lot worse. It really, really could have ended a lot worse. We need to get that uh, Psychic Suppressor popped as soon as possible. Rose, where's she? Uh, Undrafty, you rescue... Where is he? Rescue Pain as soon as possible. Get him out of there. We've got plenty of time to get him to the hospital. Or Doors, I'm going to say... Or doors. Excuse me. I want to click on a fucking door. I hold open and then toggle it off again. So they should shut now. They should shut now, he says with some optimism. There we are. Are they going to now go fight the... Delta's on a murderous rage. Why? Malnourished. I fucking hate... This video game makes no goddamn sense. I'm hungry. Therefore, I'm going to murder someone. Just like Opsa. I'm tired. I'm going to leave the colony. To deal with her. Deal with her, Sharamus. She's going to get murdered. Gets knocked down a lot. I guess maybe she blames him for the raid going so badly. Oh, God. Get to him. Get to him. Run, 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 um, Oh, God. Oh, God. Please punch. Punch, punch, punch. Take off. Okay, use your fist. Fist her. Oh, I mean, punch her. Get her. Knock her down. Two of them. Two enter. Only one leave. Okay, there we are. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Get her out of there. Um, what I want to do is have our people basically ready to go just in case this raid from our fellow Empire Fear backed fires. I'm hoping they can deal with the mortar shell, if nothing else. Even if they don't smash the psychic suppressor, the mortar shield would be fantastic to deal with. Give me plenty of time to deal with just about everything else that's going on down here. They're doing a good job. And that was purely random too, but that can happen in the base game with any of your allies. So we just genuinely got super, super lucky there. Wow. Um, anything else we need to worry about? Well, let's undraft everybody for the time being. What? Did no one rescue what's it? Oh, I bet I tried to start rescuing them and then uh, undrafted them. How are we looking then? Uh, six so nights out, lot still injured. Rose, have you tended to everybody? Delta is not tended. Rose. <laughs> Ro Rose, if you don't mind. What's it's here, but unfortunately, I don't think there's much of what's it left to save. Um, that's the biggest loss here. We, we have essentially had a death, and that's from what's it. Mangled, I mean, his brain has three out of ten. That's nothing to do with the neuro calculator either, by the way. Because 20% research speed, that's it. Doesn't affect the efficiency as far as I know. My god. I had no idea that's what that weapon did. And it's not to do with the psychic. The psychic suppressor could have just max 50%. Yeah, but his brain is only at 3 out of 10. <laughs> There's nothing left, Mr. Frodo. Okay. How are they doing down here then? Not well. Are they fleeing? I think... Oh, maybe they're only dealing with the turrets and then they're leaving? You didn't even bother to take out the shield. Oh, you fucking cowards. I mean, thanks for bailing us out, but my god, what a waste of time. Okay, we need people on those mortars then immediately. Let's get the robots online. Have them tidy this place up. Um, Delta, how are you doing? Are you are you up and about? You are fine. Just a bit of pain, malnutrition, dehydration. You just have some food and then let's get you on the mortars. Not the most ideal hospital, is it? Uh, obviously, a lot of these guys are... I, I rescued a couple of allies there, but seven of our people downed. 
That was pretty hefty, but to be fair, I was expecting a lot worse than a mechanoid raid of that size. Particularly a mechanoid raid I've never seen a configuration like that of before, ever. If that sentence made sense, please let me know. Um, well, let's go ahead and finish off the... How's Delta doing? Is she, is she capable of walking? The issue is we need someone else on the... So it gets knocked out a lot. Are you okay? You need tending. You got to chuck... Oh, okay, right. Rose, I'm going to just manually get you to tend to people because you are not doing your job here, Chief. Doctoring is above bed rest. Sorry, just wanted to double check. Wait, is it above patient, though? It's not. Okay, drop that down. Your first priority is to other people. So we need to... Um, basically, as soon as possible, get those brain implants done to be able to bring back what's it like an ai chip or something would be fantastic because my man what's it is is brain dead more or less he's not gonna be doing much right now um we'll see how he looks when we've dealt with this but man i've never seen that weapon before if that is what's happened which i can only assume it's because i don't know what the hell else i mean it said it hit him and that's the only damage he's taken so i don't know really what else to to really take from that let's get these guys has been assembled to defend their cluster. Uh, no, they fucking won't, if I have anything to say about that. Thank you. Um, say stop forced attack, and then I'll get her to reman the artillery. Oh, you have to actually move her away from it, do you? There we are. Get her back. Uh, that should be firing first, but just in case, I'm going to take her off again. Just to reset it a little bit. Right, so you're firing at... What do you think? Should we take out the... the, the, the... I think taking out the mortar shield would be better first. Um, then we'll take out the everything else then we'll take out the everything else good luck how many mechanoids we're we looking at i'm hoping that our friends will be able to deal with that so i don't have to draft my people again yeah they should go after them anyway uh good hit bad miss okay give that another volley in a second yeah those those guys should fight our allies again so fingers crossed we've already got nothing to worry about here oh there's quite a lot of them isn't there a galatross is here oh god i hope that doesn't get manhunter otherwise we are fucked what is that a siege breaker we can't fight that with three people. Okay, obviously we've got more than three people up right now, but it's not looking good. Come on. I need this to be a hit. Terrible. I mean, it's obviously not terrible because they, they, they do do some damage to those. Is that a mortar? Are taking Hess Recruiter from over there? Holy shit. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. Um, I've got just the man for the job. Are there any other turrets up? They're not. Get in there. It looks like this thing is a long-range... It's artillery, mortar. Look at its fire rate, though. Oh, God. Now we can get to see what it does. Uh, okay, that thing's horrible. It just blew a man to bits. Although, he's got some uh, recon armor there we could steal. Sharamus, melee character, seems like the ultimate foil to him. Let's send him around this way, though. Let's use cover to our advantage and then close the gap. Get in there. Good, good work, little Sharamus. This is your first proper mission as, as Sharamus Deathbringer. Oh, look at that. We, we've got it. Okay. Now we can flip Delta back over to... No, no, no. It gets knocked out a lot back over to High Explosive. And then let's focus fire on that suppressor. Deal with that as soon as possible and get our people back up to... Back up to working speed. The robot's seeing him. He's in there. Has this thing got a melee DPS at all? Uh, 3.74. Not a problem for my man, Sharamus. Look at him go. Slicing through it like it's fucking butter. Siege Breaker versus Sharamus. The true Siege Breaker. Siege Breaker versus Empire Breaker. That's what I'm going to call him. Project Empire Breaker. Rather than Cyborg, that's about on the nose. Take him down. Charamus, I just sang your praises. Please don't let me down like this. Psychic Express has been destroyed. There we are. Berserker Chip has been built. As a reward for Charamus. is doing an incredible job there. Good shit. Okay. Um, well, let's focus on these other few, and then we're, we're done. We're, we're free of these mechanoids, so I can... We can go into tomorrow not needing to worry so much about uh, an attack straight off the bat. That's not just one Galatross. That's four of the fucking things. I've never seen that many. I would love to tame them. 30% chance on a failure. We've seen what those things are capable of in previous series. Those things annihilated our entire colony in a previous series. So I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be risking with that if you don't mind. <laughs> not an in inspired taming, is there? I don't believe there is. I can inspire taming inspiration, naturally. That would be a really cool addition. Okay, I didn't want you to blow up the wall. Fuck me. I, that's it. I'll just blow up all the resources. That's also fine. But I think we'll leave that one there for today. We have a couple of other surgeries. Let's, let's line up the Sharamus surgery so that tomorrow his right eye... Oh, removed. Right, got it. Um, so we need to give him a fresh human eye if we want to install that other one. But obviously, like I said, there's, there's some better stuff to install there. So Berserker chip and the compression jaw. We'll get those lined up and then by tomorrow we'll, we can start off the ep episode with those being installed. That's going to make him even more powerful. The Berserker chip is insanely good for melee characters. Thank you all for watching. That one went on a lot longer than I expected. But like I said, I wanted to deal with... I felt like I heard you guys uh, 
an actual proper combat, given that a lot of the episode was spent discussing bionics. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place. Please stay tuned if you are an insane top tier level patron because I am going to have a video going up on most likely the second channel uh, regarding some Patreon changes recently that have been very poorly communicated. So I will be um, not on my behalf, I should point out. It's my job, apparently, to communicate it to you guys. So I'm going to be doing that uh, very, very, very shortly. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. In the meantime, thank you to Atmosis, Alchemia, Caden Carter, Facundo Vasquez, Bubka, Scott, Justin Wallace, Jonah Waters, Jackson Woodman, Ben Hoffman, Asana Kurto, Aromatic Fool, William Green, Justin Rules, Huey Longdong, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Nikki Sticks, Smirtworm, I Am Sangatare, Demon, Rob Girth, Demon X Jester, Callum McLeod, Shardul, Shistle Dirt, Under the Couch, Prometheo, Flom, Dion, and Fush as well for their support over at Patreon. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you all. For making the channel possible in the first place, again, keep your eyes out. I'll be putting that video basically everywhere. Patreon chat, Patreon proper, everywhere that, that, that you can possibly see it. 